Hello everybody, thank you once again for joining me for this week's Guilds of Ravnica ranked draft event. Um, I didn't get a chance to do this over the weekend so I'm getting caught up with it now. And I'll have my camera hidden while I do the draft so that way you can see all of the cards. Let's get into it. Do remember to subscribe for more content like this. I do deck techs, all that stuff. First pack. I am going to be super greedy here and grab the Sacred Foundry. I need it for competitive Boros anyway, and maybe I'll get uh, some, some other Boros cards in this draft. Charnel Troll is not, not very strong in draft, and with any luck I can go into either Is It or Splashing White, or maybe I'll Splash Blue, d depending on how, how this draft starts. Like, oh boy, this is... This is pretty weak. I like Luminous Bonds as removal over everything else. Dowser of Lights is good as like a bomb, but so far I'm not on black. I think we're going to go with Luminous Bonds because it's in the white. Although, at this point, we don't want to commit to a color. But it looks like there's enough here to go into Boros. I like Duskblade Agent, or Darkblade Agent. I like Spybug in general. Menace is good. Hmm. Maybe we, I'm going to grab the Spybug rather than Integrity and Intervention. Let's see. Dazzling Lights is cool. Trigger Surveil, Fresh Face Recruit is nice on your turn anyway. Selective Snare is interesting. But not good for draft because it's specific to a type. So that probably won't tick off. Might of the Masses is nice for a flying... Um, if you have like a flying bomb, you can sneak them in there. And so far I'm not on a color, even though I've got... I've got... looks like Demir and Boros, but, but you don't have to commit right away. I like flying a lot. Especially in draft. A lot. <clears throat> so we'll grab some flyers. Invert and invent. This might... Invert and invent might come in pretty handy. Silent dart is okay. Hunted witness is okay. Tenth district guard is kind of neat. Maximize altitude is interesting too. Overall though, and I like whisper agent. So this could, we could sneak into Demir all of a sudden. It flashes and it surveils one, and if we can dive into enough surveil to make the spy bug worth it, now we're talking. Yeah, let's try it. Can't hurt too much, can it? Maybe you can. Famous last words, right? I, I don't know that I've ever seen Vettel can Mesmerist before. <laughs> when he attacks, target creature gets minus two minus. That looks pretty useful. I like Hired Poisoner. It's a pretty good blocker. And, you know, oh, I don't have any green right now. I'm not going to go into green. Well, so says we, unless we see, uh, like, a, like, a fatty old bomb in the next pack. Um, but we'll do Hired Poisoner. Actually, it looks like so it looks like the bots are not drafting Selesnia colors. Or, or Boros colors. Although Garrison Sergeant is kind of weak, the odds of us getting a gate out aren't, aren't very strong. I'm going to grab Dazzling Lights. Yeah. Maybe we will go Demir. The only thing I don't like about the guild sets is that they're hard to draft because you get cards like this. And then you've got to make a decision and sort of stick to it. Although I could go straight into Demir and grab the locket. Devcare and Dissident is not bad at all, but we're not in green, so I don't wanna I don't wanna risk it. I like Candlelight Vigil. More than anything else, yep. Hammer Dropper? Are we on Hammer Dropper? I think we are. 
So it looks like we could go into... Okay, so the next pack is going to determine fully what we dive into. Um, I don't mind take heart. Sort of like soft removal if you get the chance to, to pull it off. Disdainful Stroke has a better chance of getting played in this deck, I think. I don't like Select a Snare. I like Ledev Guardian because he can Convoke, so that's not terrible. We'll grab some white creatures. And I will take the Pause for Reflection off the table for somebody. And Undercity Uprising, though I do like Undercity Uprising. Uh, we don't need it. Oh, boy. Divine Visitation. And so now we need tokens, right? We passed up on all the tokens. <clears throat> We're going to grab it, just in case. Just in case. Are there any... We're going to have to go into Selesnia, then. I just got through saying we're not going to go into Selesnia. Unless we can get other tokens. I don't... I don't see... Any token makers in this pack, so we will continue on as if Divine Visitation is a fluke, and maybe we end up not playing it. I like Direct Current. Because it comes back with Jumpstart. It's pretty strong. I like Beast Whisperer. Whenever you cast a creature spell, I draw a card. Okay, so it looks like we can probably change gears and go into... Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think we're going to have to go into... Um, Selesnia, or maybe do like a green... Well, I got all those white creatures from the last one. Here we go. Mm, prey Upon. Siege Worm is a bomb. I don't mind it. So now those Hunted Witnesses would come in pretty handy. Okay, we'll grab a Siege Worm. Alright, so here's what we'll do. We'll organize this a little bit more. We'll take the blue and the black out. I'll leave the red, because we might do... I guess that's Naya colors. We might end up doing that. A 7 casting 5-5 five, five trample and it convokes. I like. Here we go. Sprouting Renewal. This is a token maker. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Oh, you know what? And I've got a pause for reflection. All of a sudden might get played. I like Candlelight Vigil over the other options that were there. World Soul Colossus. Yeah, that's what we're going for. I just want to make sure I'm not passing up on any token creator. So now we're going to go into Selesnia. Call it a day. This is a weird draft so far. But at least we can go... Looks it on restore. Yeah, I'll take it. At least we can go into white pretty pretty deeply. You know what I mean? And that way we don't have to worry about risking. Um, now I can grab a. Oh, I like Golgari Raiders too. That's terrific. I'm taking the Raiders. Elves with haste. It's crazy talk. I don't mind the life gain. I would rather have. Hmm, this is a good. This is a toss up. Figures to be a better, a better pull to get the one green. Although that doesn't convoke, so you could get Luxodon Restore out if you need the mana back or you need the health back a little earlier in the game. Versus Crawl Foragers would be a little bit l one turn later of a play, or two turns potentially. And then you only gain life for the creatures in the graveyard, which there does figure to be quite a bit. Well, let's get it. Let's see what happens. Erstwild Trooper. No, thank you. Wild Ceratok. Okay, so nothing too terrible. Wild Ceratok it is. Um, could probably use a couple cheaper creatures. Each player gains four life. I'm not in love with that idea. Uh, Urban Utopia could be nice card draw too, so I don't I don't hate it. Um, pause for reflection, or Urban. I'll take an Urban Utopia. I don't think we're on 
the is it locket. Okay, so somebody's getting a risk factor. That's going to be off the table. I think I like Hunted Witness here. Nope, nope. It's got to be the Rock Charger because he gives another tune flying, and that's another character flying. That's what we're on. Flying over token. So we might not even play Divine Visitation. Yep, yep, we are on. Color of the Culprit's nice removal. I like it. Good for, good for battle is highly underutilized. I don't mind the Dissident a little later in the draft. I think grabbing it now would be a bit of a reach. Uh, I like Crushing Canopy. Put a plus one, plus one, on each of two creatures. And I don't mind Gird for battle either. I'm going to grab it. Izoni? I just want Izoni. Any token makers to go nicely with Divine Visitation? I don't think so. I don't know that we will end up playing Divine Visitation. Or anything red for that matter. I think we're on. So this is a, a working deck right here. 23 out of 40. Oh, with adding the lands, that would be a deck. So I think we're good. <clears throat> what are the odds that we put Izoni in there? <clears throat> and go like total Dark Elves. I like it. I'm going to try it. Take heart. Okay, I like Sworn Companions. Now we're talking. Mephitic Vapors is probably some decent removal. See, here we go. Here we go. Another Candlelight Vigil. So as long as I can get a creature on the board, I could Candlelight Vigil somebody to death, which works. Now, all of a sudden, Pitiless Gorgon looks kind of strong. If I splash black and go, go green, white, and black, a little Abzan business... All right, let's try it. What's it gonna hurt? All right, hunted witness. Yep, for sure. Um, yeah, siege worm. Creeping chill. No. <laughs> siege worm. Indeed. Uh, I like flying, and it's a little cheaper. No, I like I like Dev Devkarin a little. Well, elf magic. Okay, we are on. Luxodon Restore. We are just going to see what we can see. Vigor Spore Worm. Mm hmm. Target creature gains vigilance. Plus X, plus X. Not until end of turn. Just forever. Okay, yeah, that's great. For what we're doing here. Mood Mark Painter. Okay, I'm not going to make it. And while well, Sarah talk, let's make the deck. So right away, we'll take out. Wait. We'll take out Mephitic Vapors. And 11 more cards. We'll ditch everything that doesn't quite make sense. I like Beast Whisperer's card draw. And let's look at this ridiculous curve that we have going on here. So we have six cards that cost six or more. <laughs> let's take a look at our top end. Isoni. A two black. No, let's cut the black. That's not going to make much sense. We'll just cut the black. 17 lands. Good enough for me. Let's cut Divine Visitation. It's not going to work out. We'll cut Luxodon Restores. We are high in the fours, which is fine for draft. It's At least it's been my experience that that's fine for draft. I'm not exactly positive that that is, in fact, okay to do, but it's been my experience that if you cut your top end, or you uh, uh, cut your top end a little bit, but leave some, like, a, almost like an archway, so if a couple more fives would do, uh, but, you know, this is more of an art than a science, really. Plus, some of these have Convoke, so if they Convoke out, then, you know, like, uh, like Siege Worm, there's two of those in here, and it's a seven casting. But it could be cheaper, depending on what else we got going on. Now, does Sprouting Renewal make sense? Without, it does not. No, it does, because I can still destroy an artifact or enchantment. Is there any other removal in here? Let's take out Urban Utopia. See ya. 
I need luminous bonds. You bet. That's a cat back there crying about not having enough food. I like flying. Let's take out Ledev Guardian. Leave Caller the Culprit. Candlelight Vigil for sure. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I kind of like all this. Okay. Wild Ceratok, are you really necessary? If we cut the four space, does that kind of clean up the, the curve a little bit? It kind of does. 14 creatures, 9 non-creatures. I'd like to be at about 16 or 17 creatures. But are my non do my non-creature spells... Okay, so this non-creature spell doesn't make sense. And now we can add a creature back to the deck. At what cost? Let's try and add a 5-casting creature. I'll go with Ledev Guardian again. 4-casting creature. And hope we're not making too big of a mistake. Hmm. Okay, well, I think this is about as good as we can make it. Call this our Selesnia draft deck. And we'll put World Soul Colossus up in there. Hopefully we can get our guy out there with some nice counters and win the game. Maybe give him Flying and Vigilance with Candlelight Vigil. And call it a day. Alright. Let's begin ranked. I think I'm still in the bronze rank for these, for these drafts also. And here we go. Hi everybody. That was kind of a strange few packs there for this draft, of course. Doesn't always doesn't always work out when you're trying to draft. Okay, so this is not a terrible hand at all. If he plays a bomb early with a toughness of four, we can we can nuke it. Although there are some some good creatures in Guilds of Ravnica with toughness of three, but we'll hang on to it. Our Dev Carrying Dissident could be a 4 4 with flying combined with Rock Charger, so I like this. In either case, oh, here we go. Cool. So, see how this is going to work out? We'll have a flyer, and then we'll give our Dissident plus 3 plus 2 with Candlelight Vigil on turn 4. And here's our curve. So, we've got turn. Okay, go over there. Turn 3. And then turn four, Candlelight Vigil. And now we can fly right over him for a whole bunch of damage. This will be hard to overcome unless he's got some amazing, like, Crushing Canopy or... I, I don't know what in, in this set would be. Vicious Rumors. I choose which card I want to discard. The Gorgon's out. Cool. Candlelight Vigil on Dissident. And then we'll swing in for a whole bunch. And he, for five, yeah, so next turn Beast Whisper comes down and then we start drawing for every creature. We can kill one if he drops a big one. I like where this is going. Our opponent does not like where this is going. He grabbed pause for reflection. How funny. He's got two mana. Alright, so it looks like we're going to at least win one game here. And that'll be good. I can... If it's got toughness of four or greater, I can culprit, collar it. Collar that culprit. So, that, there he goes. Or I can Luminous Bonds him. In either case, we'll just, we'll just nuke him. Call it a day. Yep, pretty good game. So Candlelight Vigil proves its worth. It's a fabulous card to draft. Of course, anytime you can combine that with flying, you're in business. Got another rank up. That's terrific. Hopefully I can hit uh, silver at least. Oh, hey, I won uh, <laughs> my weekly... My weekly pack wins. Oh, 
I'm a little bummed I couldn't get anything else to go with Divine Visitation. That would have been a fun a fun surprise for somebody to to see. When I did Core 19 in in person, one of the guys I was playing against pulled Nickel Bolas. And uh, and that was a fun surprise for me. I was like, oh you okay, that's how we're doing this today. You got Nikki B. Alright. Ooh, so here we go. This is interesting. We've got the Dissident and a Sprouting Renewal. And a World Soul. So we can do the World Soul for one, two, three. It'd be a three, three. That'd be the weakest World Soul Colossus ever. Vigor Spore Worm. It's a six casting. Creatures in our graveyard, not our opponent's graveyard. So that's interesting. Maybe we just... If this goes like last game went, we won't have any creatures. I like the killing of an enchantment. That's nice. Because Luminous Bonds is a thing. Deadweight? Deadweight is also a thing. But it'll kill mostly everything I have. I'm going to hang on to Sprouting Renewal. Perfect draw. That was terrific. So we will use our Vigor Spore Worm to pump the Parhelion Patrol to activate Mentor. And hopefully that works in our favor. I like Vigor Spore Worm because it can't be blocked by more than one. So they can't gang block it. And that tends to help out when you're doing uh, drafts like this because, you know, you can't pre-plan much. You sort of take take what you get out of your packs. I, I like draft. I like limited formats quite a bit. Feels like a much more level playing field sometimes. Um, yeah, we're doing this right away. It's the sorcery speed, so you can't you can't surprise cast it or anything like that. And then if we have an accident where he puts like a luminous bonds on one of my dudes, I can sprout and renewal it. We are in business. Okay, here we go. One more turn. He plays a big creature. We collar it. We we that's it. We collar it if we can. <laughs> if we can't collar it. And the game drags on a little bit longer. Okay, that's what we gotta contend with here. Hmm. Well, it doesn't first strike, does it? No, it just mentors. So, let's get it dead. He blocks somebody. He has to or he dies. And then hopefully... It doesn't matter who. Yeah, it may as well. Now he's at two. And if he plays a creature, at least with toughness, for a greater, then we can sneak in for... No, Tempest trick card. So we will at least... Uh, there we go. Game over. Hopefully. What's it holding priority for? Oh, okay. And you get, at the bronze level, you get two points for each win, so it tends to, you tend to climb pretty quickly. Daily reward. Oh, it's a mythic! Look at that, guys! Chromium the Mutable. Now, now I can play Esper properly. Awesome. Arguably the eldest of the Elder Dragon Legends. Chromium looks old these days. Just kidding, Chromium. This, this is funny. If you click end turn, but change your mind before your turn ends. I've done this before, and then not gotten out of it, and then and then the, the turns all skip. It's a little frustrating, but not. it's not too bad. Oh, the Golgari Raiders. At some point, I'm going to have to lose a creature here, aren't I? Okay, so I'm going to take a mulligan. Um, I like Golgari Raiders. 
I do. But uh, but at some point, I'm going to have to lose a creature. I haven't even lost a creature yet this whole draft. So so that's coming. Okay, got him again. And I got the hunted witness. I left the hunted witness in here. But but this is kind of nice because I could do a turn, potentially a turn three Ledev Guardian into Candlelight Vigil. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, I'll take the Luminous Bonds too. Going with the Hunted Witness, and hopefully, I draw a two casting creature and then a land. Okay, well, yeah, I'll take the land because I need to get. So, if this, if my Hunted Witness, you know what, even if he kills my Hunted Witness, I'll still have enough for the Death Guardian. Yeah, we'll come broke him down like this, and then we'll do Candlelight Vigil. Does he mentor? No. Candlelight Vigil doesn't Convoke either. Colossus is a 3-3 three, three at this point. I'm gonna save... I'm gonna save Luminous Bonds. I don't think it's worth casting. I'm trading 3 for 3 at this point. I think I've got enough mustard to turn the game around if he starts to get out of control. We shall see... Yeah, so Garrison Sergeant's going to eat the Luminous Bonds. I've got Life Gain with Take Heart. Um, if I draw a land, I will be in a better position. Okay, cool. So I'm in a better position to cast a bigger World Soul Colossus. And then next turn... Yeah, you know what? While we've got the mana... Let's give Hunted Witness plus two plus two. Just make them a little bit bigger and gain that life back so that way we're in a stronger position to, to mess around. Okay. Okay, glad I did that. See that? Now I can take absorb this damage a little bit better. You know what let's do? Let's do it. Five? Hmm. Three? Oh, wait, no, I tap my. Is that gonna do it? Yeah. Cool. So now I can have a huge world soul. Unless he's got removal. He might have color of the culprit! Okay, he's gonna tap some creatures. A little risky. This is six damage coming at me. Is the flying gonna kill me next turn anyways? I should have should have bonded the rock charger. So this is eleven, which he blocks down and lives. Because uh Well, let's just see what happens. If he doesn't block down, uh he dies. Or if he blocks and maybe he saves it doesn't trample, which is highly unfortunate. And with the Rock Charger, he flies right over me. This is just, this is strong. I like Rock Charger. So is Rubble Belt Boar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's game game three. Okay, good game, Tiffany. Can't lose rank in the bronze tier. Lucky for me, I'm a noob at limited. You do get three losses though, so it's kind of generous this way. You only get two if you do best of threes, and that's. That's for pros, best of threes. I don't know how to sideboard in draft. Like, I don't... I don't really get it. Um, doesn't seem like you have enough cards in your pool. In sealed, you can. It's In sealed, you get six packs rather than three. Um, but the three packs is like... I don't, I don't know. You get stuck with cards that are totally worthless, and it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I 
I like the white, but I'm gonna get stuck. I almost it's almost a guarantee I get stuck with uh no green. But I like this the start of my white mana base so much that of course I'm gonna get more planes. I think we'll be in pretty good shape. I've got two creatures, two removal spells. I mean some flying here soon. I could drop one of my... Hmm. Let's see if he blocks the 100 witness down. Hopefully he will. Why not? Why wouldn't it be? Well, he looks like he's a little mana. Oh no, oopsie, he says, so maybe he didn't get a chance to play land. Meaning that I should probably save my Luminous Bonds for, well... I could sneak in for three. How much good does that do? I'm not sure if it does any. We'll just pass the turn. Yeah, it was risky not keeping any green mana. We're going to call her the spider. Yep. And we'll happily take two because we got life gain going. Hmm, man. What are the odds that we have to use a luminous bonds on a 10th district guard because we can't get any green mana? So what shaper do? Just looks for. Creature or Enchantment World Soul Colossus. I got one of those too. Okay, so the Colossus definitely gets bonded. We're not going to mess around with that guy. There we go. There we go. I'm going to save Sprouting Renewal and play the Dissident. And at this point... Yeah, I'll save it. No, it's a sorcery, so I can't cast it. But then I could make my Siege Worm come out and be happy. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I like this. And we will attack with everybody. Although the token doesn't go to my graveyard, so... Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. What are the odds that he has some sort of enchantment I'll want to have removed? But I want the creatures to tap to convoke at the same time. So let me get this out. Could prove to be a pretty pretty dumb play right there, but we will see. Yeah. Knights of Autumn. Totally awesome. I love Knights of Autumn. No blockers. I have two creatures, so let's do four, five, six. Yeah, let's do our Siege Worm. He's a 5-5. Five, five. That's kind of nice. I like that. So now he's going to think about dropping his World Soul Colossus, or he's got a Luminous Bonds for me. Luminous Bonds. I had a feeling. Isn't that terrific? Well, alright. I'm not going to sit here and take two all day. That's not going to happen. Oh. Not terrific. Got another one. What are the odds? He's got another Luminous Bonds in there. Just waiting to play two. Or a Caller of the Culprit. You never know. He's going to tap him. Alright, that's fine. Did I get two creatures? Still only have two creatures in the graveyard. Which doesn't make me all that excited about... I'll gain two life, though. That's fine. So I want to... Actually, I want to try and get some of these guys killed. It tramples. He 
He without a doubt gang blocks, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Who do I want to kill first? I want to kill the Vigilance first. Knights of Autumn has done its thing. It's already. It's just a 4-3. Intrusive Pack Piece is a 3-3. No, let's kill the Knights of Autumn first. That way if he attacks back, I can block with Foragers. It's a 4-4. Four, four. And I got a creature in the graveyard. Terrific. You can blow up this Luminous Bonds here, buddy. No? Alright, didn't think so. That's fine. Okay. Yep. So we'll try and combat trick him with the Dissident if that doesn't work. Well, if, if it doesn't work, meaning that he, uh, he blocks the Dissident with the Knights of Autumn. Kind of anticipating it. Um, and they go into the graveyard. I still got Golgari Raiders. Then we'll be four four with haste, and that's very strong. And I've, I can do both of these. I've got seven mana, so I can do both in the same turn. So I've just been uh, getting over like that flu. <clears throat> it's been floating around. I'm drinking some tea and it's uh, it's like attack tea. I'm just kidding. So. so he played his Colossus and I just dropped the uh, Luminous Bonds I've been saving. I almost don't believe he got two Knights of Autumn in the same draft, but there's virtually not a chance he got three of them, right? Crushing Canopy comes down. Now he's got to save this as a blocker, or he dies. Hmm. He must have, uh... He must have a Prevent All Damage spell happening. <clears throat> we'll gird for battle. Now, if he's got it, none of my damn. I don't know why he would have attacked. Maybe he thought the vigilance would kick in. If he's got it, I don't gain the life. None of these guys are vigilance, and he can probably. I mean, he might have a Gird for Battle himself. So if I leave behind... Why don't I leave behind... This guy? Well, I have to swing him with everybody, don't I? Well, here goes nothing. Let's see what he's got. Does he have... He does. Oh no, he's going to declare blockers. <clears throat> a pause for reflection? How embarrassing. Oh, terrific. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I feel like we snuck away with that one there. Bronze tier 2, rank up to bronze tier 1. Okay. I feel like I feel like even the gold tier in limited is a terrific achievement. You know what I mean? Like some people are are gold and constructed for a while and that's, you know, you feel kind of stuck in that and like, "Oh, I'm only gold." But and but in limited like gold, hey, that's something, man. That's not easy to achieve. <clears throat> this is already the best Guilds of Ravnica draft I've ever, ever done. Uh, I hardly ever get to uh, that third win, so pretty happy with how this is going so far. Oh, 
All right, so we got a witness, we got a candlelight vigil, we've got a sprouting renewal. This is this is, looks good. This looks good. Yeah. Okay. I get old siege worm again, ready to eat that luminous bonds. Of course, there's not much else that'll remove him in this this set. I don't think. Uh, I don't think so. And we're up against is it? Let's do. Hopefully, he's not doing thousand year storm. And I will have wanted to have that back. The reason I cast this so early is so I can get the convoke out there with uh, uh, siege worm. <clears throat> so he's, you know. In theory, I could get the Siege Room out there in turn turn four, but we shall see. Hey, this guy. I remember that guy. Okay, so we'll do the Rock Charger. And we will not do anything else. Next turn, we could Siege Worm, Candlelight Vigil on the Siege Worm, give him Vigilance, Trample, and then Flying with Rock Charger, and just deliver some pain. If we get a land. Any land they'll do. Yeah, any land will do. I can tap the token for a green. So far, I have not yet saved the token for anything. I don't, I don't know if that's worth it or not. As long as he doesn't... He can put an enchantment on Rock Charger that reduces his attack. Okay, Notion Rain. That's cool. I can still block. So if he attacks with the, the Mesmerist, I can block with my Hunted Witness and kill him, and still get the token from the witness to use to convoke the Siege Worm. Yeah, there we go. I'll just tap all these guys. He says, what are you doing, man? I'm doing this guy. Artful Takedown isn't going to work. Um, I, don't, I don't know if there's anything else. Dead weight, even on the Rock Charger, wouldn't do it. So I think we're in business. I think we're in business. About four mana for the vigil, so now we're going to. We saved his mana. Lava coil. Lava coil is a sorcery, so let's just see what happens here. Does he have a counter spell? <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna uh, sinister sabotage me. Now would be the time. This is this is uh, where you where you want to have that stuff. Oh, he artful takedowns and taps him. Ah, okay, okay. Well, now we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna do it this way. Four of the flying doesn't worry me at all. This guy tramples and he's got vigilance, so he's he must start blocking or or he's in trouble. So I don't need to worry about doing luminous bonds yet. I may as well hold back my hunted witness. No reason to attack. It's one damage. Um, he happily takes the eight. That's a little scary. So maybe he's got a plan. Demir lock it, sack it, and draw a card. Now it takes four, so he can't do that. Um, thought erasure, no big deal there. Luminous bonds for sure. Nope, that's the wrong choice. So, he, so he took the vigor spore worm, but that's the game is now over. So I've got nine damage I'm sitting on, and I can luminous bonds his dude and and just sneak in and went. Oh, he he's got the amp. Okay, so he knew that. Um, But this is still pretty haywire because he's got a block with the imp. I'm still going to get the token. He's going to take eight. Hang out at one. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll see what happens. No reason to do World Soul Colossus. I'm happy with my Siege Worm with Candlelight Vigil. That's very strong. Really tough to deal with in this set. Yeah, that's what I figured. Another uncommon thrashing. I get this card like twice a day, I swear. That's four wins. That's terrific. That's 450 more gems. Plus a pack. Do you ever get two packs? Okay, 
this is going swell. Also, I was reading on the forums today that they do not plan on wiping our collections when the game does in fact go live. So there's no harm in drafting like when Ixalan comes up, go for it. When Rivals comes up, go for it. Dominaria, definitely. Um, they are not going to wipe our collections. So spending wild cards now and building that collection is actually worth quite a bit. This is going to be super strong. If I can get the second green, hmm. Okay, well, or, or Barelion. Oh boy. If we can get some mana, this could work out to be to be quite a thing. No, nope, not gonna do it. Either a five four death touch or a a five five Yeah, holy cow. Or a five five flying vigilance mentor. <laughs> It just and all we do is just keep swinging in and mentoring everybody else or a siege worm combo again you never know this looks like it's gonna be pretty strong <clears throat> you could do like 10th district uh, guard and then 10th district guardian I think was the one in uh, Ravnica allegiance hmm I don't want to risk blocking. I'd rather have the creature, right? For Convoke? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. He gets bonded for sure. I don't believe I'm jumping the gun. Either. Everybody goes for Selesnia cards in this in this set. I, didn't, I hadn't noticed that until this. It's like my second game versus Selesnia. This might have been a little early, but I do not want him having a flyer right now while I am stuck on three mana. So the Dissident goes off next. Are you serious? Well, that's probably the game. I think. I'm mean, pretty sure that's the game. These guys don't life... No, they do life link. Hmm. Well... I don't think we can overcome Trostani Discordant. I'll take five, three, two, four. Still take five. Ooh, this is, this is some pain. Okay, well, this didn't work out like I'd hoped. I knew it'd be a little risky with the mana base, and yeah. Are we toast? I think we're toast. No point in attacking. There's just no point. But we could have. He would have taken it all. He takes five. We tap out. He kills us. We save some blockers. Maybe he thinks twice. Uh, maybe not. I wouldn't. I would go for it. And just make your opponent solve it. Uh, there's no harm in, in attacking with Tristani there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to affect the outcome. And I could gang block and, and die. Although I wouldn't die. I could block. It's. I mean, the game is over, right? The game is, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Although, if I draw land, no, it's five, not four. Opposed. <laughs> of course. All right, dude, go for it. I don't have it. Just, just go for it. Just win. You got this, buddy. Good game. I should have said good game. Okay. Not too worried about raiding there. Our four wins. This is still... Even if we lose this game, it's still terrific. You know. Four and two is... Really nice. Even four and three. Still nice. 50%, 50s, whatever. 75%. 50, I don't know. I can't do the math there. Okay, so we're on the play. I do have a rock charger and a beast whisperer. And I'm probably going to draw into one land to give me that fourth land for beastie. So I'm going to hang on to this. 
got an early luminous bonds but like in the last set it didn't didn't help or last game it didn't help um, I've got my two green for pitiless gorgon siege worm beast whisperer okay I can do a rock charger next turn so we're not too far behind okay decent decent now, if I can just draw a land, I will be much happier to have my Beast Whisperer out there doing things. Sky Knight Legionnaire is strong. Yeah, that's good stuff, dude. Although I can block, and I will. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, he convokes. I like that. I could Luminous Bonds, but then with my Rock Charger and Let Up Guardian, we start swinging in and we're all flying. We're going to take some punishment here. Somebody's a 4 2. <laughs> no, I'm not blocking. But I got Life Game with Take Heart, so that's okay. Fourth land is out. It's not time for Golgari Raiders just yet. It is time for Beast Whisperer. But it is not time to attack, so we're going to play a little slowly. And I could Convoke my Siege Worm down next turn. If my Beast Whisperer lives, I can also draw a card. That is fantastic. The Locket comes down. Hmm. This is strong. Now, now if, I, if I bond the Challenger, he loses that Mentor ability, which I kind of like. But if I play... So he could spend all of his mana and make this a 3-4. Which I could block with my Siege Worm pretty easily. And then he's got a 3-3 three, three up here. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm definitely going to do this. And then my... Yep. My Siege Worm is my blocker. And so what we'll do is I'll Vigil the Siege Worm and use my Rock Charger and Vigilance Siege Worm to go ham. No creatures in the graveyard again, so I might take some punishment on this turn. This is a risky turn. And then we will bond his, maybe the Boros Challenger. He's got the mana for this right here, so he could he could pump it up, but he's got to do it before combat. He can't You can't declare attackers and then pump your, your Boros Challenger and hope to get the Mentor effect. It doesn't work that way. Plus, he dies. So he attacks he into a Siege Worm and dies. Put a witness. Doesn't matter. I like Golgari Raiders, man. A green elf with haste? It's unheard of. It's not exactly unheard of, but I mean, it's awesome. So let's see what he does here. He's attacking with Sky Knight Legionnaire only? Okay. Citywide bust? I hope not. destroy his Golgari locket? It's at sorcery speed. Here we go. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Now we're all going to fly in. This is 9 damage. And he's got Vigilance, so it doesn't tap. I'm going to do it. I'm going to blow it up. Now he's got to cast a spell with it. He can't draw because he doesn't have the mana. I 
he gave us Challenger plus one plus one, which is an interesting choice. Okay, good deal. And the Silver Tier, hey, we made it. Only halfway through the season. <laughs> made, made Silver Tier Unlimited, all right. That was fast. I wonder if this guy's like a, a doctor. It's a strange name for someone to have who's not in the medical profession. Oh, this again. Okay, so I'm gonna take a mulligan at least once to try and get a good mix of land and see where that that uh, lands me. Ha, ah, pun intended. Do a mulligan. A little bit better. This is a terrible first play. Uh, it comes out of zero zero, and, he, and then he's dead. So, caller the culprit. I only have one of those in the whole deck, and the way this slow hand is shaping up, I may need this, but I can't risk taking it because I do need creatures. And this was one of the risks of a creatureless deck here: is, is that uh, not? I'm mean not creatureless, but it was a little low on creatures. Remember, and I was trying to add a couple more. I think I added like two, and that ended up being it. So. So we're on for Parhelion Patrol on turn four, and then on turn five, I can't really vigil now. Okay, I'm not really afraid of the Locksmith. Okay, I like Rock Charger and Parhelion Patrol, because he's got Mentor, so this will be nice. So the Patrol with Mentor will help out the Rock Charger. He'll be a four, a five, five, actually. He'll be bigger than a five, five. I take it all back. Actually, this I think we'll do one each because uh, they get the vigilance, and that would make them. Oh, that was a terrific move on his part. That's eight. Okay. Yep, so if, I, if my Rock Charger lives this turn, we will fly away with the game. Oh, Mentor. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Nope. Boy, I don't think we have this. No land. Inspiring Unicorn, how funny. Okay, so... 3-3. Three, three. Not dead, dead. No trample, right? We're alive one more turn. Mm -mm. Man, no land. Two. Okay. Okay, he's one. We can't win this game. Rats. <clears throat> that was fast. Silver tier <laughs> made it. Punishment for silver tier. Is that? That's it. Five wins. Five and three. Totally respectable. I'm very happy with this. Six hundred and fifty gems. So I turned five thousand gold into six hundred and fifty gems. Got one bonus pack, so maybe we'll get two bonus packs. Looks like there's got a 35% chance to get that extra pack, and we definitely got it. Now, because we're still six weeks away from the next set, we're going to go ahead and buy some Ravnica Allegiance with our remaining 4,000 gold here. So this is the gold I've saved up for the past, uh, like, week. And combined with my draft, we've got nine packs to open, plus the three from from the draft, and then plus the three from the weekly. So this is absolutely terrific. I love getting packs. Amara, that's nice. I could use a Doom Whisperer. Come on, Doom Whisperer. Here we go. <clears throat> Alright, I'll take it as advice, Roy. He's cool. Arboretum Elemental? Huh. 
now we'll move on to the Allegiance stuff. All right, so this is the most recent set for now. War of the Spark is coming. I do like my wild cards. Thank you. Lumbering Battlement. I'm not so sure about that guy. Only because I don't know any better. Clear the stage. Actually, this is my first clear the stage. That's pretty funny. Glass of the Guild Pact. Hooray. This looks really strong. I don't know why... Uh, it's not just when you cast them, all multicolored creatures, if they're all multicolored. Like, this has Selesnia written all over it, right? They have plus one, plus one. They don't get a counter. Like, they're just bigger all the time. And if they're all green and white tokens, well, shoot. Oh, I got another wild card. Thank you. Tome of the Guild Pact. Oh, there you go. Okay. So the Guild Pact is glass and tomes. Another Gates of Blaze. That's for that, uh... That's sort of a budget Gates deck, but I don't have... All of the gates, ironically enough. Zerta, I needed that guy. Terrific. Stomping Grounds, my first ever uh, Gruul Color Dual Lander. I don't even have the the ones from uh, Ixalan. So those are nice. And I feel like this set has been more generous with the lands for me. There's the Gatebreaker Ram I needed for the gates deck. Perfect. Smothering Tithe. This artwork is interesting. What a terrific run. This is an almost 3,000 gems, so I'm getting prepared for... Um, Cinder Vines, nice. I'm getting prepared for War of the Spark nicely. Improving on my own draft skills. I was very happy with how that draft went, even though, you know, I mean, I lost a couple of the in there. I still did another Kaya. This is terrific. This is absolutely terrific. How wonderful. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate all the support you guys give me. Uh, it keeps me motivated. Have a good day. Let me know if you have any uh, questions, suggestions, or tips.